Intelli folders for After Effects. Um, a script shipped with After Effects called, I, I think it was Folderize or something like that, and it would create a folder for all your sequences in your render queue. So that was useful, but I, it was limited. So I decided to elaborate on that and create a much more comprehensive script for creating folders for items in your render queue. Um, so this is useful retrospectively. So if you are throwing loads of things at your render queue and you don't care where they're set to render, you can just throw them on the render queue and then run this script and then set um, set your folders. So to install, if you unzip your file and here you have the script and a couple of images and if you drag and drop them into your script UI panels directory, restart After Effects and it will load from your uh, window menu. So if I go back to After Effects, I've restarted. Um, this script will load as a panel So AED in Telefolders loads up in a panel in After Effects which you can dock anywhere you want. Um, so I'm going to just let it float for now. But this script will just fit in nicely with FT Toolbar or Launchpad or something like that. Uh, or it can be run from the File Run Script menu. So it loads its own little interface. Um, and it also doubles up, but you can just use it as a normal script if you want. So, uh, here's my render queue. I've thrown a good few comps at it, and they're all rendering as JPEGs, except the second one, which I've set to DVD. I'll, I'll just set it to uh, maybe a, a quick time. Okay? So, one is rendering as an MP4. Okay, so I'll load up the interface and this is it. So you have five output uh, location choices. Okay, I'll go through them individually. Um, a key thing about IntelliFolders is you can test all your paths before you apply them to the render queue, which is handy. So it's the kind of thing you're going to make a mistake, you know, and it's good to see it uh, before it actually affects your render queue. So you would click this button to test and when you're happy you click execute and then it'll operate on your render queue. So I have lots of different options. Um, so the first thing I'll do is um, I'll, I have the first option selected project. So I'm going to click test paths. Um, so it's sending it to where your After Effects file is saved. If you haven't saved it, it'll, it won't allow you to use this option. So it's trying to send all those sequences to where your After Effects directory is. So I'm in my project here is Project Beyond Belief and my AEP file is saved in this After Effects directory and it's going to try and make uh, these folders and send all the JPEGs into their own individual folder. Okay, so you'll see that it skipped um, number two which was our QuickTime file. So if I actually wanted to folderize that as well, I tick that button and I'll click test. And you can see there, the second one has been um, included and it's gonna make a folder based on the comp name, okay? Now, if I don't wanna use the comp name and I want to use the, the file name that's been set in the render queue, uh, can tick this box here folders from file name instead of the default which is the comp name click test paths again and uh, well the file name is actually the same as the comp name in in this case um, okay now if uh, if I was um, if it was the same comp uh, name and I wanted to separate the, the renders out based on item and module numbering. Um, I'll show you how that might work. So say I've uh, this comp beyond animation 6 and I have duplicate that a few times. Um, so we say the bottom three 
have the same comp name so I'll test those paths again you can see down here it's going to send all these sequences to the same folder which is beyond uh, anim 06 beyond anim 06 beyond anim 06 so if I tick this use item and module numbering it'll separate all these out and ensure that these guys go into their own uh, folder so you can see there I for item so that's item 10 module 1 that's item 11 module 1 item 12 module 1 item 13 module 1 might be useful in some situations um, so uh, on to uh, append to folder names so you could have something like version uh, to say so you put that in there test paths again and you can see the folder created for this one beyond anim 6 under slash version 2 and that will be appended to all the, uh, the folder names um, we could also append uh, today's date so if we test paths it will create a folder beyond anim 6 version 2 and this is uh, the 4th of September 2012 if you're in Europe you might want it the other way so you just flip that uh, test paths again and 4th of September 2012 um, so I think that will be useful as well to date stamp your folders okay um, so I'll turn off date and I'll get rid of that version click test again uh, now went through the first uh, output location option which is the project last is the last uh, location used um, so the last location I used was the same one so it doesn't matter um, if I want to send all the uh, outputs to somewhere new make sure just click new the browse button so I'll just send it to um, a drive called ingest Okay, so it's just I test paths and it'll create folders on I and s send everything to those folders. Um, so if I click execute now, um, everything has been adjusted. So we pick one here. You can see it's gone to I beyond animation and it's actually created the folders. Um, if I load my script back up again, you can see that that has been saved. Um, uh, if if you're constantly rendering to the same place, it'll just save you a few minutes of navigating. Um, so current would be all the current locations that everything is um, set to. So if you've actually set every render to specific folders and you actually just want to folderize the items, you would click current. Um, I also have a memo um, location so this is saved as well so you might use this if you're working on a project for a couple of weeks and you want to keep sending all your renders to the same place so um, you simply browse and so we'll say on my D and I have a project here and renders so project Hubble um, and I click test paths it's gonna um, create uh, those renders it's gonna send everything to that directory and create folders for the sequences um, so that's more or less it and then when you see everything here and you're happy with it you just click execute and it'll adjust everything in your render queue to suit um, up here a little uh, reference uh, help file and uh, this is a hyperlink to uh, my website for um, some more details on the script um, so it's a more robust uh, way of folderizing all the stuff in your render queue with lots of different options um, to save you time um, okay, so that's in telefolders. I uh, hope it's of use to you.